What's up guys? What's up? Welcome to this video. I've got this guy here and we are on our way to the gym. When was the last time you lifted? Who knows? Like eons ago. I don't know. I've got my pre-workout and we just stopped at Academy. I need to get some powerlifting shoes, squat shoes. Um, if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below. Mm. I'm looking for something that does not have animal products in it, so no leather, affordable. I'm gonna have half a Lenny and Larry's cookie before my workout and half either during or after my workout. Let's get it going. Are you excited? I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. Let's go. What's up guys? So I wanted to do a voiceover while we watch some workout footage from today and I can explain to you guys what is going on with my workouts, how I'm feeling, um, whether things are improving or not. So here I was just foam rolling, of course, warming up for deadlifts. And so I'm doing deadlifts, squat, bench, and overhead press for, um, I guess, twice per exercise every week. So every week I'm doing two times of deadlifts, two times of bench, two times of squat. You get the idea. Um, so that's definitely increasing the volume from what I'm used to, especially with how heavy I'm trying to lift. But I'm focusing now more than ever on form, on really trying to engage my lats, on really not letting my hips come up before um, my upper body. So one of the things that I struggle with most with deadlifting is my hips will come up before anything else. And that's what you don't want. Like right there, you can see it. The hips come up right about there and you can see everything else kind of follows. You essentially want everything to move as one plane. Everything is moving all at the same time. Um, the hips rising just like that, not optimal. So I'm trying to work on figuring out how to not let that happen. So thinking about the cues as I'm lifting, pressing up through the entire foot, um, you know, really keeping my chest up, rolling my shoulders back, engaging the lats as much as possible and thinking about leading with my chest so that the hips follow. And that's one of um, a really good piece of advice that I got from someone before was to think about having your chest rise before anything else. Um, and so that way your hips actually follow. So here I was working with, I believe this was 220 for three sets of six. Um, the last set might've been 215. And this is definitely, I'd say I've, I've lifted, I've deadlifted heavier than this, but for volume and form, this is definitely the best that it has been uh, since I can ever recall. I forgot to show you guys, they got two new power racks in my gym. It's, yeah, pretty pumped. Now I can actually do my deadlifts in here, and that's four total, five total squat racks in the gym now so pretty freaking awesome and of course i had to show you guys that i went in on friday i think it was and those were there i had no idea that we were going to be getting those in so i was super pumped and they're definitely getting used and I'm, I'm so relieved because you know if somebody wants to curl in the squat rack they're not taking up one of only three squat racks now there's actually a decent amount of power racks and, and, and areas to squat and deadlift. So um, I think here I was I was talking about my um, either my hips coming up or my hands got sweaty, so I was wiping my hands off. So yeah, like I was saying, you know, form and functionality is better now than it has been, but I really, really need to be careful about those hips. So that's something I'm gonna keep working on. Here I was doing my heavy barbell hip thrusters. And these are just to help strengthen the glutes. Um, hip thrusters are actually a, I think they're an underrated movement, but they're so good for that explosive movement and pushing through your glutes and engaging your glutes. And you can go pretty heavy with them. Of course, you want to focus on um, pausing at the top a little bit more. I'll need to keep that in mind for next time. But the weight was pretty dang heavy, so I was just focusing on moving it. And I did some decline sit-ups, weighted decline sit-ups, in between sets of hip thrusters. So my coach has all of my workouts as separate exercises. So I'll do hip thrusters, rest, and then I move on to sit-ups. But just for time's sake, I superset movements like hip thrusters and sit-ups where 
my decline setups don't interfere with my performance in my barbell hip thrusts, so I don't have an issue supersetting those. I wouldn't superset something like hip thrusts and squats or leg press, you know, two heavy leg movements at one time. I wouldn't want to superset those because I want to be able to put in as much effort into every rep as I can. And that's what all of these workouts are about is moving as much weight with as good form as possible. And here you can't actually see it, but I had a 15 pound dumbbell in between my feet. So I was doing some weighted pull-ups and after I felt pretty gassed on these, I dropped the weight here and went over to wide grip pull-ups to finish out the set. And you guys know that I love pull-ups. I, I, do pull-ups pretty much every single workout, whether they're on my plane or not. Um, it's just really good for climbing. These are dumbbell calf raises, and I did use straps today. I hadn't been using straps until I moved up to these 80-pound dumbbells. Um, it's just too heavy for me to just hang on to the dumbbells or else my form gets real ugly. Um, and I also did not, I completely forgot to film my lying hamstring curls and two sets of bicep curls. I did barbell curls and preacher curls, but shrugs are the last exercise you guys are going to see here. And yeah, working on them traps. That face. I just got back here. Like, Keep lifting. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Workout's done. And it was good. I'm really glad we came today. Matt got a good workout in. He's in my car right now. Matt, what did you do? I lifted things. Did I also you, did runnies. Did you have a good workout? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, it's hot. You look, you look real warm. Oh my gosh, it's cold in here. Yeah, it's hot in there. Whew. Really glad I wore sweats to work out. <laughs> uh, right now I'm gonna have the rest of my cookie. This further encourages me because last Friday's workout was so shitty that it's just a reminder that it's only temporary. Like, as crappy of a workout as it was, today was like brand new so yeah head home and make some food I'm gonna show you guys what I'm making slash eating because I might cook something tonight I might cook something tonight I don't know we'll see I have a meeting at the gym tonight at 7 but we got plenty of time before that so let's go cook some food We said we were gonna go to H-E-B. I need caffeine. <laughs> it's the usual, guys. You know what it is. H-E-B's done. What'd you get? A little snack. Oh, it's Ooh. brown. Ooh. Ooh, it looks like dates. Thunderbird. Apricot. Mm, it's apricot. Almond and vanilla. That's pretty good. Yeah? Oh, He's gonna stare. <laughs> we don't <know. laughs> Get out the ball. <laughs> hey! Katie! Hi, Berkey Berk. Are you, are you eating? <laughs> what are you doing? Berkey Like a kitty. <laughs> Hi, Berg. What are you doing? Stop <laughs> poking the cat. What are you Okay, so we're gonna make chili for dinner and I'm gonna stick it in the crock pot for it to cook on high for what, like three hours or so? Going through our ingredients, let me show you guys. I think we have a rat problem in here. Uh, oh no, it's a cat problem. Get out. <laughs> Super simple chili um, and usually with chili we just kind of throw everything in the crock pot and see how it turns out. So we've got crushed tomatoes, diced pimentos, black beans, chipotle peppers, butter beans, hominy, uh, mushrooms, onion powder, taco seasoning, red pepper for spice, and a chili seasoning mix. So I'm gonna throw all of this in the crock pot and let it cook on high for three hours. Well, what about the protein? Cause you know, protein is apparently all that matters to people now. The beans have a decent amount of protein per serving. It'll be seven grams of protein. We've got two different types of beans in there. We've got this light life, gimme lean veggie sausage which is really, really good. So we're gonna cook that separately and then add it into the chili at a later time. It took all of two minutes and most of it was opening up the cans. Yeah, so that's in there. It's gonna cook for three hours on high. And then we're gonna add the crumbles as soon as Matt cooks them. 
that's that. I'm gonna show you guys, I found this at HEB today. Pure Moringa vegetable powder. Um, I think I've heard a little bit about Moringa, which is apparently a superfood. It's a complete plant protein, so if you're into that kind of thing, something to look into. Just one tiny little packet, I didn't wanna buy a whole thing of it, but it's got five carbs, three fiber, three grams of protein, but per packet, it's got 20% of your daily vitamin A, 50% of your daily iron, and 15% of your daily calcium. Um, and it suggests just adding it to smoothies. I haven't had enough greens today, so I'm gonna blend this up real quick with some stevia and try it. You might or not. <laughs> oh God, you're bright, so good. So back from my meeting, here's the chili. Oh, look at that. Heck yeah. And then we have bread Cheesy with- buttery bread. Yeah. Cheesy buttery bread. Buttery bread, bread. Ow. With butter and cheese. Vegan. Toasting, oh hey, yeah. just started toasting, put back. So you guys can assume whenever I tell y'all anything that we're eating, if I say cheese or butter. Oh, it's vegan. You can assume it's vegan. I'm just gonna stop saying vegan cheese and vegan butter, cause you guys know. We got tornado warning. <laughs> Meeting went well. I'm still teaching cycle every Thursday, 5.30. If you're in the area, come see me. I'm gonna close out the vlog here, Matt. You wanna cool. help me? It's gonna keep raining until we even go to work tomorrow. So it's gonna flood. Uh, no, it won't flood. You might not go to work tomorrow. No, it's not. Cause it's gonna flood. With a flex. Not, not this way. Couple flex. Stretching. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I say this all the time, but you guys really are awesome. Y'all are awesome. I really appreciate anybody that watches these videos. You sitting here watching the video. Thank you. Thank you for clicking on it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and engaging in the comment section if you share the channel. I really, really appreciate it. I really enjoyed these videos. I enjoy putting them together. I'm trying to step up my editing game, so if you have any tips, leave them below. Yeah, love you guys. Have any questions that you wanna see answered in next week's Q&A, leave them below. Stay peaceful, go power lift. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I was getting some over here. Get him, Buzz. Get him, Buzz, Get him, Buzz. Get him. Usually the lion's the one uh, attacking. Buzz is ferocious. Get him, Buzz. Get him. Get him. Ah. Ready? Get it. Oh, man, he's so ferocious.